going green. Princess Eugenie joins Pixie Geldof and Joe Wood to launch Carnaby Street pop-up calling for a reduction in single-use plastic. Princess Eugenie stepped out for a star-studded environmental campaign launch in London today. The Royal, 28, joined high-profile figures including Joe Wood, 63, and Pixie Geldof, 27, for the event in Carnaby Street in London. Eugenie, who is set to wed Jack Brooks Bank in October, donned a black and green printed dress for the occasion. She kept the look simple, pairing the frock with suede knee-high boots. The Pass on Plastic Experience, which launches on Friday, World Oceans Day, is an ocean-themed pop-up highlighting the urgent need to reduce consumption of single-use plastic to help stop our oceans from drowning in plastic. A giant whale made up with plastic bottles, part of Sky Ocean Rescue's campaign, provides an eye-catching centerpiece. The event was given a high-profile launch, with famous faces joining forces with volunteers. Joe Wood, ex-wife of Rolling Stones rocker Ronnie, attended with her son Tyrone, 34, an ambassador for Project Zero, a group that works to protect the ocean. Fellow ambassadors Pixie Geldof, daughter of Bob Geldof and Paula Yates, and actress Jamie Winston, also attended. Princess Eugenie follows in the footsteps of her uncle Prince Charles in supporting environmental issues. Charles, 69 has long been a campaigner for rainforests but spoke publicly last year about how oceans had become twin passions for him. In January the royal spoke about his deep frustration at the world ignoring plastic waste in the ocean. Charles delivered a speech at a meeting of environmentalists and business leaders to discuss the issue today in central London. He said, over the last few years, the awareness and science about the negative impacts of plastic waste in our ocean have grown significantly. He added, even though the challenge at hand is extremely grave and unbelievably urgent, I for one at least find some encouragement from the fact that the legacy of plastic in the environment is now very much on the global agenda and in the public consciousness.